So for question three, we are required to use substitution to transform a given differential equation. So if you recall the steps to doing that, the first step is to differentiate the given substitution. So in DE, inevitably, we often end up with three variables, y, u, and x are all variables. So we have to perform our differentiation using implicit differentiation. So let's try that out. So with the given substitution, we will differentiate. Equation number two, with respect to the variable x. So differentiating implicitly, differentiation of y gives us dy dx. Here, we have to use product rule to differentiate this quantity. So we leave u alone and differentiate x squared with respect to x, giving us 2x. Plus, and we leave x squared alone and differentiate u implicitly to get du dx. So this is our first step. We differentiate what we are given. So let's call this equation 3. Now we proceed to substitute whatever we have into the original DE, that is equation 1. So we substitute equations 2 and 3 into the original DE, which is equation number 1. So what we have here is x dy dx. So equation 3 gives us what dy dx is. So we have x multiplied by this entire chunk on the right for equation 3, we have 2ux plus x squared dy dx. Sorry, x squared du dx. Okay, so x dy dx equals to 2y. 2y is given by equation 2 over here. So y is ux squared. So 2ux squared minus 6. And let's simplify what we have x times expansion, x times 2ux gives us 2ux squared plus x cubed du dx equals to 2ux squared minus 6. And notice the 2ux squared term cancels out on the left and the right, leaving us with x cubed du dx equals to minus 6. And making du dx the subject, we have du dx equals to minus 6 over x cubed. So now we have already answered the question for part one. We asked for expression of fx. So the required fx for part one of the question is this quantity over here. This term over here, minus 6 over x cubed. And that answers part one of the question. So for part two of the question, we proceed to solve our differential equation. We will use the answer from part one, the substituted version, because this is the one we can integrate. So let's proceed. So du dx is equals to minus 6 over x cubed. So on the left, we integrate with respect to u. So we integrate 1 du. On the right, we integrate with respect to x equals to integrate of minus 6 over x cubed dx. So integration of 1 with respect to u gives us the value u. Integration of minus 6 over x cubed. So minus 6 is a constant. We leave it alone. This is x power minus 3. So integrating of x power minus 3, we bring the power up to be x power minus 2 and divide by minus 2. So we have minus 6 over x squared. That's power x power minus 2. And we divide by minus 2, which is the new power. Okay, And we add the plus c, where c is the integration constant. Okay, Simplify gives us u equals to minus 65 by minus 2 gives us 3 over x squared plus c. So we have finished our integration over here. To further proceed, remember this is a substitution question. So to solve a substitution question, we will replace our new variable u back with our original variables y and x's. So in equation 2 over here, we have y equals to ux squared, which means that u is equals to y over x squared. So what we have is y over x squared equals to 3 over x squared plus c since u is y over x squared. Okay, multiplying this equation by x squared gives us y equals to 3 plus cx squared. And this is what we call the general solution. To get the particular solution, we'll sub in the given quantities. We are told that when x equals 1, y equals 2. So y is, so when x equals 1, y equals to 2. So y is 2 equals to 3 plus c and x is 1. This gives us c is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. Substituting back, we have our final answer. So the particular solution that we require, 
particular solution that we require is the equation y equals to 3 minus x squared. And this solves part 2 of our question.